this video is a quick welcome to my maths class and also a bit of an explanation of how I do things in my maths class because it's a little bit different to what you might be used to. Now I do something called blended learning. Now put simply, whenever I want to teach you something new, whenever I want you to learn a new procedure or a new definition or something like that, rather than teaching you at the start of the lesson like a traditional teacher might, instead I put it in a video and you can watch that at your own pace, at your own speed. Now, uh, there are a few benefits to this, and I want to talk about that. So first I'll talk about the benefits of the videos themselves, then I'll talk about what's happening in class and how that can be beneficial as well. So, first up, these videos, they're going to be short. If you've ever been sitting in class and you're a little bit bored by the teacher, maybe they're talking for a bit too long, these videos are not going to be that short and fast. They're also self-paced, so if you're watching the video and you don't really understand what's going on, you can pause the video and think about it a little bit. You can rewind it and come back to it again. You can watch it a little bit faster if you touch a little thing in the bottom there and speed up the video. So it's up to you in how fast or slow you watch these videos. Of course these videos are re-watchable, maybe after two weeks you can't quite remember what was going on there or why the notes are written the way they are. You can go back and re-watch those again. And they're also shareable, so if you've learnt something and you're getting some help from say mum or dad at home and they're not sure what's happening either, you can watch the video with them. If you've got a tutor, you can share the video with the tutor so the tutor can say, oh I can see the method they're using, I can show you that method instead of this other method. So that's the benefits of the videos themselves, what about the benefits in class? Well first up, the class looks different. I don't start every lesson by standing up the front and telling you the thing that you need to learn. You've already learnt the thing that you need to learn, now you need to practice. So you're going to have more time to practice. This is a really big benefit because maths is not a spectator sport. In order to get good at it, you need to practice it. Now you're going to get more individual help. Because I'm not doing a bunch of whole class instruction, that means that I can spend a lot of the lesson walking around and helping individuals that want help. When you want the help, you can get it. That's one of the big benefits here. We'll also be able to have more discussions and more meaningful discussions. Small pockets of students and myself talking about the maths, figuring out how to work on some of those higher level questions where we might get stuck. So those are just some of the benefits of doing things this way. I've been doing it for a number of years now and there are a lot more that you'll learn about as you work in the class, but now we need to talk about what you need to do to succeed in a class that looks like this. Now same as the last section, first we'll cover the videos. Now when you're watching a video there's a few things that you need to do. The most important of which is to take notes. When you're watching a video you really want to write down everything that I write down plus anything else you think, oh that was interesting, that's really important what he said there. Take notes the same way that you would take notes in anyone else's class. The videos are relatively short, for that short amount of time focus, cut all distractions out, just you and that video, writing your notes, paying attention, until it's finished. Now you're watching a video but it's made by me and you're going to see me again very shortly. So write down any questions that the video raises for you. Maybe at the two minute mark I did something and you don't know why I did it. Write down a question so that the next time you see me you walk into class and you say, I've got a question about that video. Write down any questions you have. The whole reason I make these videos is so you can ask me more questions and I can answer more questions for you. So this is an important one. So in class, there's a few things that we need to do. Number one is practice. Again, maths is not a spectator sport. The more you practice, the better you get at it. And the whole design of this thing is for you to be able to practice more. And this is linked to our video up here, ask questions. That's why we're doing this, so you can ask me lots of questions and I can answer lots of questions. Um, it is impossible in a video to cover every single permutation of a maths question that there could possibly be ever. So you need to practice them, you need to hit the harder questions and then ask me, hey, why did I get this question wrong? Which brings us to our last point. Whenever I ask you to do questions, I'll make it very easy for you to check your work. There'll be answers nearby and you'll be able to check those answers and say, hang on, my answer was this, that answer was this, why did that happen? And then you can ask me a question and then you can practice some more. So those are really the keys to succeeding in our blended learning classroom. So that's how blended learning works in a nutshell. And after hearing all of that, you might be a little bit nervous. Sounds a little bit different to what you're used to. Um, and I was nervous as well when I first started doing blended learning as well. But I've been doing it for many, many years now across a number of different schools and it's always been successful. 
uh, as long as you and I keep communicating and keep working together, I am confident that your maths will continue to improve and you will flourish. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to meeting you next term and getting stuck in. See you then.